Hi there, this is Ms. Cooper with my first Doodle With Me video. Um, sometimes it's hard to figure out what we can doodle to get our minds going and ready for art, so I'll show you one of my favorite things to doodle that's really easy to make up out of your imagination, um, which is feathers. Um, now, they're easy to do in pencil or pen. The pencil I kind of outlined first so you can see the line, whereas my pen tends to be more about the little pen strokes. So feel free to make your own style and do the feathers however you want. They're feathers. They don't look a certain way. Do them however you want to do them. So I always start with the main kind of stem in the middle. I don't know feather anatomy super well, so I'm not really sure what you would call this. Um, but I start with that little arch in the middle. Put a little bit of a nub at the bottom for where the feather came out. And then I slowly narrow it down as I get to the top. So I leave a little bit of a gap there. After that, I start a little bit up the stem and I start outlining where I want my feather to go. And so I lightly curve it just a little bit. And then I start, instead of outlining the outside by drawing a line, I like to take little wispy pen strokes and let that be my line. And I'm gonna put a little gap in my feather because a lot of feathers that you see outside, they tend to have those little gaps in there. So I'll give it a gap and then I'll go back to my outline. Now this feather is taking shape to be a, a pretty even feather, so um, that's pretty cool. I'll leave it like that. And I'll finish the other side. I'll start at the same point. And maybe this side is going to be a little bit thinner, so I'll kind of let this side just be a thin side of the feather. Again, I'm kind of curving my pen strokes just a little bit to get that basic outline in there. From there, I work from the outside in and then the inside out. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So I'm going to start by doing some pen strokes at the outside and I press really hard at the outside and then I lighten up my pen inside so I still get these wispy, delicate lines. And kind of darken the outside, it'll make the feather look more curved. And then I work from the inside out. So I'm going to add a couple lines on the inside. They're a little far apart, so I'll add a couple more. So this looks really wispy and light. And what I end up with when I kind of work from the outside and then the inside is I end up with this lighter area in the middle that shows how the feather kind of bends a little bit. So I'll even deepen that shadow a little bit in the middle by doing some strokes kind of going the opposite way. And that will make my feather really come to life on the page. So I will add some pen strokes from the inside. I'll make them nice and dark. I'm curving my pen ever so slightly while I do them to make this feather look curved and a little bit more real. I'll leave some white space in the middle. Now I might add a little bit of a shadow in the middle because sometimes feathers aren't perfectly even throughout so I'll add a little bit of a darker area right here just to make it look that much more interesting. So again other side this one I don't have any interruptions so I will just work from the outside in make it nice and dark really make it look curved then I'll work from the inside out Once I finish this side, we'll get to the bottom of the feather and add the last detail that really makes this feather pop out of the page and look light and flowy. So once I kind of connect this, I'll, I'll darken the middle by taking a couple pen strokes the opposite way, make it look a little darker and a little more curved, add a couple pen strokes to smooth it out. Yeah, let's put a little shadow right there. The nice thing about feathers is they don't really look any particular way. So when you doodle them, nobody's going to look at that and say, hey, that's not a proper feather. People are going to look at it and be like, wow, that looks like a feather. Cool. All right, so there we go. So I added that side to the feather. Now I'm going to add little wispy feather bits. The bottoms of feathers, there's usually some that are a slightly different texture. They're this really fuzzy nice soft part of the feather. So I'm going to add those. I'm going to add a couple going the opposite way. Okay, maybe one is going to go really down low. 
they can overlap the feather a little bit too. They often do that in real life. So I'll add those wisps. This one has a lot. Last thing is I'll add a little bit of shading just to one side of that stem of my feather just to make it look like that too is round. It'll darken it in the middle of the feather. That's okay though. People will still know what's going on because it's sticking out at the bottom. These are a lovely way to kind of decorate a page or frame your name in your notebook or wherever you're going to put this doodle. Uh, I hope you enjoy. Thanks for watching.